Good day class, this is Sir Emilio Titara Jr. and welcome to another mathematics class. Today's learning objectives are, or is to illustrate, seconds, tangents, segments, and sectors of a circle. So this is just another, um, this is a continuation of our topics on circle. So on day 18 specifically, we have to illustrate seconds, tangents, segments, and sectors of a circle. So first, let us Define again or review our definition for tangent. Tangent line is a line that just touches the circle as it passes by. So again, ang tangent line ay isang linya na dumadaan or dumikit lang ng isang beses sa circle. Katulad nito, we as we can see here, nagtouch lang siya sa iisang point. Hindi siya pumasok, hindi siya lumabas, dumikit lang yung ating green line sa ating circle. And that point na pinagdikita ng ating line sa circle is called point of tangency. Next, now, ito naman, we have here a line that passes through. Nahati niya yung ating um, circle. And, um, nag-extend siya palabas yung ating line. So, ang tawag natin dito is second line. A line that cuts the circle at two points. So, again, sa dalawang point siya dumadaan. Unlike sa tangent, isang beses lang or sa isang point lang ang ating second ay dalawa. Anong pinagkaiba ng second line sa ating chord? Kapag sinabi natin chord, ang chord ay um, hindi siya line segment lamang siya or um, wala siyang, hindi siya nag-extend katulad ng second line. Ang, kapag line, nag-extend siya. Katulad nito may arrow. Pero kapag chord, um, ang mga dulo niya ay nasa circle mismo. So, hindi siya lumalabas sa circle. Hanggang circle lang mismo yung chord na napag-aralan natin sa unang part ng ating lesson sa circle. Next, slices or iba't ibang klase ng hati sa circle. Okay, so we have here two types. The first type is the pizza slice called the sector. So again, when we see a pizza slice, it's called the sector. Ano ba yung um, pangalawa naman natin is called segment. So, magkaiba po ang line segment sa segment. When we say segment, um, two-dimensional na siya. So, we have here um, ang line segment or ang segment. Ano ba? Pag i-differentiate natin yung um, sector sa segment. Ang sector na hat, ang ginamit na pang hati sa kanya is etong central angle. So, ito yung center, kaya central angle yung ginamit na pang hati sa kanya. Nahati siya sa central angle. Ngayon naman, ang chord is gumamit, or sorry, ang segment ay gumamit ng chord na pang hati. Katulad nito, um, hindi, siya, la, hindi siya second line dahil hangga ang dulo niya ay nasa circle lang. etong green na, or ito. Itong line na to, hindi siya second line dahil ang dulo niya ay nasa circle. So, hard lang po siya. So, ayan. Ang slices natin, ang pizza slice ay, um, ang ginamit na pang hat ay central angle. Ang segment naman ay chord. Enclosed by an arc. It's inscribed arc. So, ayan po ang definition natin. A sector of circle is the region enclosed by two radii. Radii is the plural form of radius. And the corresponding arc, katulad na itong arc na ito, sa taas. And ha, the segment is a, of a circle is the region enclosed by a chord and the corresponding arc. So, ito yung chord, then ito naman yung kanyang corresponding arc. Next, common sectors. There are two types of common sectors. So, first is a part of a circle is called quadrant. And yung pangalawa naman is semicircle. So, kapag kalahate, of course, semicircle yung tawag natin. And kapag one-fourth, or kalahate ng kalahate, quadrant. So, parang sa Cartesian plane lang. So, that's it for the day 9, 18. Now, let's proceed to day 19, which is to find the area of a sector and a segment. So, ito yung medyo magiging part ng ating lesson. So, a sector of a circle is the portion of a circle enclosed by two radii in an arc. It resembles a pizza slice. So, that's our definition for a sector. Ngayon naman, um, ang circle, ito ang ating, ang full circle, para makuha ang area niya, ito ang ating, what do you call this, formula. Um, area of a circle is equal to pi r squared. 
and central angle of this pag full circle syempre ang kan yung central angle ay buo or paikot mismo kaya 360 degrees so ang fractional part ng central angle sa buong circle is 360 over 360 which is equal to 1 Now, kapag semicircle naman, of course, kalahati ng circle yan. So, ano suhat ng central angle? 180 degrees. Half siya ng circle. Dahil half lang siya ng circle, half lang din siya ng area. Kaya naman ang area niya is 1 half times pi times r squared. Where the central angle is 180 degrees. And of course, ang fractional part niya is i-divide mo lang kung anong suhat ng central angle sa kabuuan ng circle. So, 180 kalahati yan, kaya 1 half ang sagot natin. Next is the quarter circle. Of course, ang quarter circle is 1 fourth ng circle, kaya naman ang area niya is 1 fourth as well. So, kung ano yung kabuuang um, area ng circle, itimes mo lang sa 1 fourth, then that's the quarter circle. So, ang central angle nun is of course kalahati ng 180 degrees, which is 90 degrees, At ang kanyang fractional part is 90 over 360. So, 90 ang angle niya, or ang sukat ng angle niya, and 360 ang sukat ng buko. So, 1 over 4 ang makukuha nating fractional part niya. Kaya naman, 1 4 times pi times r squared ang ating formula. Ngayon naman, kapag hanap natin ay hindi full circle, semicircle, or quarter circle, you want to know any sector na kahit na anong sukat, Let us represent it as N, where N is the number of degrees in central angle, and S is the arc length of the sector. So, ito yung um, dalawang letter na makikita natin na may ibig sabihin, N and S. So, when finding the area of a sector, you are actually finding a fractional part of the area of the entire circle. The fraction is determined by the ratio of central angle of the sector, sorry, to the central angle of 360 degrees. So, i-compare mo lang yung central, um, sorry, entire central angle from the central angle. So, fractional part is equal to kung anong suhat ng angle ng sector na hinahanap natin or gusto natin malaman na area over 360 degrees where N is, of course, the central angle. So, we have here, find the area of a sector with a central angle of 40 degrees and a radius of 12 centimeter. Express the um, answer to the nearest tenth. So, ibig sabihin nearest tenth, isang decimal place lang po yan. So, again, ang angle na hinahanap natin, if this is our circle, then, ito yung center, kunyari perfect circle to, tapos ito yung ating angle, sorry for that. Then, ang sukat daw nito ay 40 degrees. And, sorry for the illustration. Then, ang sukat ng ra radius natin is 12 cm. So, hahanapin natin yung area ng sector. So, yan. Solution. Um, ang formula po natin, or yung general formula natin for that is area is equal to N over 360 degrees times pi times r squared. Where... Um, our central angle or N is equal to 40 degrees, kaya 40 over 360 times pi times 12 which is the R or the radius. So what is um, 40 divided by 360 and what, or what is the lowest form of 40 over 360 degrees and what is 12 raised to 2? So the answer for that is 1 over 9 times pi times 144. Right na naman tayo. So, approximately, so, kung mapansin natin, from equal, naging up, um, wavy yung ating symbol dito, which means, approximation lang siya. Kapag equal kasi, eksakto. And kapag itong wavy na, wave na line, approximation lang po yan. So, 1 over 9 times the value of R, which is 3.1415 and so on, times 144 is 50.2654 And dahil nga sabi sa instruction, express the answer to the nearest tenth, dapat isang decimal place lang ang matera. So, magiging final answer is 50.3 squared centimeter. Okay. 
now let's proceed to the segment so while a sector looks like a pie slice a segment looks like a pie slice with triangular portion cut off it's somewhat like a cross section of a pizza slice the segment is the small partially curved figure left when the triangular portion of a sector is removed so again para mas maintindihan natin isipin niyo ang pizza alam ko sa in, uh, meron sa inyo na um, ang kinakain lang is yung may sauce na part, may cheese na part, or may laman na part, at hindi nyo kinakain yung mahapal na part, which is crust. So, ganun yung itsura ng ating segment. Um, isa siyang sector, pero, binawasan ng triangle na part. So, um, para makuha natin ang value ng segment, or area ng segment, ang gagawin natin, hanapin muna natin yung area ng sector. Tapos, hanapin natin yung area ng triangle ng sector na yun. Then, kunin natin yung difference nilang dalawa. As stated here. So, find the area of a segment of a circle with a central angle of 120 degrees and a radius of 8 cm. Express the answer to the nearest integer or nearest to ones. Kapag sinabi nearest integer, nearest ones. Yan. So, start by, defined, by finding the area of a sector. So, um, yung formula natin kanina is n over 360, which is 120 ang value ng n. Yung r naman natin is radius, which is 8 cm. So, kapag ni lowest term natin ng 120 by over 360, magiging 1 third times 5 times 8 squared is 64. Kaya naging 64 pagdating sa part na to. So, 1 third times 64 is 64 over 3 times 5 which is approximately 67.0206432 So, sir, bakit ba natin pinapalitan ng um, approximate yung equal? Kasi po, um, sobrang haba ng value ng pi. Dahil sobrang haba ng value ng pi or um, walang katapusan actually yung decimal places ng value ng pi. Wala pang nakaka-discover, wala pang nakaka-compute and so on. So, syempre, dahil hindi natin kaya kunin yung exact ng value nun, Ang kaya, ang kaya lang natin is yung pinakamalapit na value or yung approximation natin. Approximately, six, dito, approximately 67.0206432. So, pwede tayong gumamit ng 7 decimal places. Para mas madaming decimal places, mas malapit sa tunay na value ng pi. So, mamaya na tayo maglulawas term. So, next, um, Imagine natin ito yung ating circle na merong um, 120 degrees na angle yung ating um, central angle tapos 8 cm yung radius. 8 cm. Ngayon, um, nakuha na natin yung value ng sector natin which is 67.02 and so on. So ngayon, hahanapin natin yung area ng triangle natin. So, ano ba muna ang formula ng ating triangle? Ang formula ng ating triangle is area ng triangle is 1 half times base times height. So, ang base natin, ito yung base natin, yung chord na to. Then, yung height natin is this one. Itong broken red lines. So, ang gagawin po natin dyan, since um, nag-drop down tayo ng line from center to this one ang tawag po natin dyan is altitude at kapag altitude ang gumawa tayo ng altitude na hati niya sa um, dalawa, two equal parts yung ating circle so magiging instead of um, 120 mga nga lahati magiging 60 na lang yung sukat na ito yung kabuuan is 120 pero yung kalahat is 60 degrees then kap, um, sa, kapag altitude po makakabuo din tayo dito ng 90, per, magiging perpendicular, perpendicular siya sa chord na to. And kapag nakakabuo tayo ng perpendicular lines, ang angle na nakakreate is 90 degrees Celsius. Uh, sorry, 90 degrees. So, applicable lang yung uh, madidivide sa 2, yung angle kapag isosceles triangle. So, eto, isosceles triangle, yan kasi po, parang 8 cm yung radius niya. And, um, ang naibang size lang is yung base. So, again, yung height natin is the altitude 
And meron na tayo dito dalawang angle. So, 60, 90 degrees. So, kung ito ay 60, ito ay 90, ano kayang sukat ng angle na to? Okay, so ang matitira na lang, ima-minus natin yan sa 180 degrees, which will be 30 degrees. And at we have here now a 30, 60 degree in, um, triangle, which is a type of special triangle. Bakit po? Kasi po, um, kapag special triangle, madali natin may shortcut po tayo sa pagkuha ng kanyang sides. So, meron tayo ditong um, dalawang leg at hypotenuse. So, um, we have here, kung ano daw yung sukat ng isang leg, it multiply mo sa square root of 3, yun na yung sukat ng ating isa pang leg. And, kung ang x naman daw, kung x naman daw ang hip, um, kung x ang isang leg, e multiply mo sa 2, dapat yung pinakamaliit na leg. Eh. Pag multiply mo sa daw sa 2 yan, yan ay sukat ng hypotenuse. So, dito sa triangle natin na ito, sa baba, kung 8 cm ang ating hypotenuse, 8 cm ang ating hypotenuse, ngayon, ang tanong, anong sukat ng altitude natin na ito? Ha? Again, sabi, um, imumultiply, pag minultiply mo sa 2, magiging 8 cm. So, this will be 4 cm. At dahil 4 cm to, ang sukat ng ating isa pang, ng kalahati ng ating base is 4 times square root of 3. Again, imumultiply lang sa square root of 3. So, ayan na, meron na tayong sukat ng ating Um, kalahati ng base at height. So, pwede na tayong pumunta dito sa area ng, the computing area ng circle. So, using the 36 degree rule, sa so natutunan natin sa trigonometry, find the, the, the altitude is 4 and the other leg which is 4 square root of 3 or 6.9280 sorry, 820323. So, anong next natin gagawin dyan? E di, hanapin na natin yung area ng triangle which is 1 half base times height equal to 1 half. Base natin is, eto yung base natin. Pero, imumultiply pa siya sa 2 kasi kalahati lang siya. Gets natin. So, eto wala. Hindi pa kasama dito yung kalahati. So, kaya meron tayong multiplier na 2 dito. So, 2 times 6.9282023 times 4 which is the height. And that would be equal to 27.71281292. Again, mas madaming decimal places, mas specific siya. Pero hindi yan eksakto ha. Oh, sorry. Eksakto pala yan. Dahil sa triangle. At wala naman, hindi naman tayo nag-multiply ng pi. Ng value ng pi. So, exact measurement po tayo dyan. So, next is, ayan na. Dahil meron na tayong area ng sector at ng triangle, punta na tayo sa A. Minus na natin yan. So, area ng segment, which is ito yun, itong green part, or um, itong shape na na-enclose ng green lines natin. Yan. Is equal to area ng sector natin kanina, which is 67.0206432, minus 27.71281292, which is the value of our, or the area of the triangle, will be equal to 39.3078306 or dahil nga sabi um, nearest integer, titingin lang tayo dito. Once po yun, nearest integer. So, titingin tayo dito. Kaya naman, ang final answer is 39 squared centimeters. Area po ang pinag-uusapan natin dito. Kaya huwag natin kalimutan ang squared na term. Kaya squared centimeters. So, that's it for our day ngayon po na tayo sa ating day 20 determine the different geometric relationships involving tangent seconds of a circle so first property of a tangent if two tangents are drawn to a circle from the same exterior point then the tangent segments are congruent so anong ibig sabihin nito kapag meron tayong circle tapos merong dalawang tangent na they're knowing pero galing sila sa isang point which is point x here then The two tangent segments, 
segments lang ha, hindi line. Ibig sabihin may katapusan. So, tangent segments are congruent. So, ano yung dalawang tangent segments natin dito? Itong segment XY, tsaka segment XZ. So, from exterior point, line segment X or line XY and line XY, XZ are tangent to circle B at Y and Z respectively. So, therefore, ang conclusion natin dyan is um, segment XY is congruent to segment XZ. Next. Ayan. Ito po yung tama. Next. Properties of a tangent. If a line is tangent to a circle, then it's perpendicular to the radius drawn to the point of tangency. So, ano po ibig sabihin nun? Ito ulit, meron tayong circle, tapos meron tayong tangent line. At yung tangent, or yung point of tangency natin is point H. So, anong ating center is C. So, dito sa property na to, sinasabi na kapag nag-drawing ka daw ng radius mula sa center papunta sa point of tangency, then perpendicular sila. Siyempre, kapag perpendicular, anong sukat ng angle na nabubuo? Ang sukat is 90 degrees. Yung angle, angle na to ha, hanggang dito, mula sa, um, etong sa yellow lines lang ha. Okay. So again, 90 deg dahil perpendicular lines, 90 degrees yung mabubuo. HT or line HT is tangent to the circle C at point H. Therefore, um, HT or line HT is perpendicular to segment CH. Yan. In a plane, two circles can intersect in two points. One point or no point. So, two planar circles that intersect in one point are called tangent circle. Two planar circles that have common center are called concentric circles. So, identify natin itong mga circle na to. So, itong dalawang circle na to, nag-intersect sila at two points. Next, ito namang two circle na to is nag-intersect sila sa isang point din. And, um, ayan, may tangent line tayo dito. Ang tawag sa kanila, Ayan, sorry. Ito, nasa loob siya. Isa lang yung nag-intersect sila sa tangent line. Ito naman, nag-intersect din sila ta sa tangent line. Pero ito, nasa loob. Ito naman, nasa labas. So, anong pinagkaiba ng mga yan? So, ito is internally tangent. Ito naman po ay externally tangent. So, again, um, may dalawang kasi ng tangent circles. Yung una is internally tangent sa so, yung nasa loob ng isang circle yung isa at yung pangalawa naman is externally tangent katulad nito next eto naman po wala silang common etong dalawang to wala silang common um, point then eto naman eto yung tinatawag na etong last pair natin dito eto yung tinatawag na concentric circles bakit? kasi po iisa lang yung center nila Dalawang circle na may makaparehong center. A polygon is said to be circumscribed or a polygon is said to circumscribe a circle if each side of polygon is tangent to the circle. So, ito po. Bawat side daw ng polygon is tangent sa circle. Ibig sabihin, kapag nasa loob yung circle at sa isang point lang nagtatouch yung mga side niya, nakasircumscribe yung circle sa polygon. Pentagon ABCD E is circumscribe circumscribe the circle. Ngayon naman, kapag circle naman ang nasa labas or a polygon is set to inscribe in a circle, a circle if each vertex lies on the circle. So, kapag yung bawat kanto or bawat vertex daw, baw, bawat vertex ng ating shape or ng ating polygon ay nasa circle, then naka-inscribe siya. So, quadrilateral ABCD is inscribed in a circle. So that's it for our days 18, 19, and 20 of our mathematics class for the topic of quarter 2. So I hope you learned something today. 
And kung may katanungan kayo, just feel free to chat me on our group chat. Not with we all for today. Again, this is Sir, Sir Emilio Titaro Jr. Goodbye class!